Hi, I'm Dave Whipple, and you're watching Bush Radical. So a lot of people have asked me about the White's boots. When am I going to finish that restoration? Uh, you know, I'm just kind of learning and figuring it out as I go. Let me show you what I've done to these boots so far, and let's finish up as far as we're going to take this. Stay tuned. When looking at this old set of White's boots, the thing that was the real problem with it is the leather was completely dry. We conditioned the leather. Anybody can do that. It takes very little bit of time. Uh, lots of problems with the stitching too. Where the stitching has completely rotted out and separated, I've been re-stitching these seams. These seams aren't pretty and the stitching isn't pretty either, but I'm going to show you guys how I did that, what I used, and uh, we'll stitch a seam here. Okay, let's take this seam right here. I want to make sure that that's stitched up. It's, of course, all loose. A couple things I could do. Number one, I could hit that with some uh, contact cement, at least it'd be solid, and then I would be dealing with one piece while I'm stitching and not lining up two. But I think I'm just going to stitch it the way it is, and what I'm using for that is just a standard stitching awl with a very heavy duty wax thread. Now when using one of these stitching awls, the thread of course comes on a spool. That spool just fits inside this little metal cage. You take the line, you can see right here, and run it up through the hole. You can see that this needle is actually fluted. It's got a hollow up the side where that cordage can rest inside that little hollow. It's got an eye, just like a needle would have an eye, but it's at the, at the other end. And your, your stitching thread, it runs up the side of the needle, it goes through the eye, and then you've got a loose end out here. All right, brought you guys in the shop here so you can see a close-up of what's actually going on with the stitching. Let's clamp this little piece of leather in this vise as kind of a demonstration. You can see we got two pieces of leather here. We're gonna stitch these together with this all, so you can kind of see how this works outside of the boot. You force the awl through, and then you pull the tail through. So you've got the awl and the tail. You pick the next place you want your next stitch to go and force the awl through again. Now on the other side, when you pull that all back, you leave that little bit of a loop. The tail that you started with, you put that tail through the loop, like so, and then you pull the stitcher back and give it a tug. Just repeat this process. Push the all through, get yourself that little bit of a uh, loop. And that loop forms naturally when you pull the all back through. Run the tail through the loop, pull it back, Give it a tug. Second verse, same as the first, just like the blues. You know, no offense, but I really don't like the blues because it's so predictable. And people sing the first line and then the second line is the same as the first. Like, you know, you just know what's going to happen. And stitching a stitch is the same exact thing. It's the same process over and over and over. Just like the blues. Now you can see that the front of this stitch, it looks like any other stitch out there. <laughs> Better than the one I did in my boots, actually, because it's just easier to get to. And this is what the back side of the stitch looks like. You see this running line is, of course, this tail. And each one of these uh, little bumps is the loop coming through, going around the tail, and pulling back out. So you've got a continuous thread, and then you have these little loops that lock the tail in. And that's pretty much the whole stitching process and what, what it looks like if you can actually see both sides of it at the same time. And uh, that's all I'm doing with these boots. That There's no magic to it. I'm just putting new stitches in old boots with new thread. Let's start our seam right about here-ish. You take that all and you force it through. And then you want to take this tail and pull it through with your hand. So this is kind of one of those things where it's mostly by feel because sticking your hand down in that boot means you can't look in the boot. So you have to grab that piece of cordage and pull it all through. As you can see, I'm see it being pulled through. So now I pull this guy out and what I've got is I've got thread that runs right through my boot. I'm gonna wind up a little bit of slack. From here, I'm gonna pick the next spot. I wanna put my next stitch 
I'm gonna work it right through. Now if you see inside here, you can see the needle going through. When I pull that needle back, it'll make a loop. See that little loop? I'm gonna take the tail of this cordage, I'm gonna run it through that little loop, and then I'm gonna pull it all tight. Yeah, I can't show you this because I have to stick my hand down in there to put this cord through that little loop. A lot of times, I, I, I'm not looking at any of this, a lot of times I'm just doing this by feel with one hand in the boot and the other hand, it's almost easier not to look to be honest. You can see that I've run the loose end of this string through that loop and now I can pull the awl back out of the boot. Another thing that's kind of handy just to help feel what's going on is uh, I was putting a knot in the loose end. Kind of holds everything together, kind of gives you something to grab onto. It, I think that works a little better with a knot in the loose end. Put my thread through that loop, pull it tight, and there's a stitch. I pick the next spot, force the awl through, pull it back a little bit. Just like before, I run the loose end through that loop and then I pull it tight. That's the process. Reach your hand in and find the loop. Get that little loop. It's best to open it up. You know, put your finger in that loop and kind of open it up so it's not so tiny. And then pull it back. Not the world's best stitch, but it's good and solid. It might not look like what was there before, but it's free. All you had to do is sit down and take a little bit of time and work those stitches in. Just like anything else, you'll start out with really bad stitches and they'll just get better as it goes. And, and even though it's not professional, it, uh, it's something you can do at home. You can work that leather back into what it needs to be as far as being nice and solid. It gets going pretty fast after a while. Stop using your eyes and just use your fingertips. You probably poke yourself with a stitching awl. I know I did at first. I'm going pretty slow at it, but once I get going, I, I, I speed right up. Okay, now I'm pretty much down to where I want to finish this stitch. What I'm going to do, I'm going to place my last stitch in this line. Oh, yeah, I think I'm going through three pieces of leather there. And I want to, I want to pull out a nice big loop. I'm going to take that loop and I'm going to cut it off and then just remove this tool. So I've got two pieces of thread here. I, I know I went really, really a lot longer than what I need, but I'm just going to take these and uh, throw some overhand knots in it and get right down in there and tighten that knot up. Now, I'm gonna reach down inside the boot and cut the ends off. Now, I don't usually leave, you know, two feet of line butchered just, just to put a knot in. Uh, I, I left all that so I could kind of show you what I'm doing out in the open. Because once you got your hands in the boot, you really can't tell what's happening. So how do you get a quality set of leather boots? Or nothing, pretty much? Well, I guess this is one way to do it. So not bad for a $19 set of boots. Definitely not perfect, but at least they're solid. They're put back together. Honestly, for the kind of stuff I do with my free time, these boots are just about perfect. Thank you guys for hanging out with me through this video. I hope somebody picked up something useful out of it. I'm just learning myself, trying to figure out how to take something that should be able to be fixed and just fix it at home. I think all told I've got 19 bucks into these things. Good set of boots for beating around with and I had fun with the project. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't subbed, don't forget to sub. Hit the little bell so you get updates. My name's Dave Whipple and you've been watching Bush Radical. And be radical, eh? See you soon.